Hello guys and welcome to the series of shell scripting. In this video we are going to discuss about the here document and here string. So let's begin. First of all here document is a form of input output redirection that is used to feed list of commands or text to an interactive program. The here document has two parts. The first one is the limiting string and the another one is the section of code. For example, we can use the command here as tr, then we can provide the option here as lower and then the upper, basically to convert lower case characters into the upper case. After that, we can provide here double less than symbols, which means we are going to use the here documents and then we provide here limiting string word. So for that, we am simply going to write here end. Now after that we need to provide here our section of code so we can write here any string okay for instance this is a good day right my name is then Vikram Singh okay now we can keep on writing this section of code as long as we want to but if we want to terminate it then we need to provide here our limiting identifier so as soon as I will provide here and our section of code will get terminated okay this section of code is also known as the document and thus it means that our program will use the document provided after the limiting identifier okay after the limiting identifier whatever we are going to provide it it is going to use that as a document okay so if we press enter you will see all those lines has been converted to the upper case so remember our and in this particular example is the delimiting identifier or also known as the limit string. We provide it at the very beginning and the at the very end. Okay. You can provide here any other string. It is not mandatory to use the and only. Now within this section of code, we can either provide here any text strings or we can also provide here commands. Okay. It will depend on the program to how to interpret those. For instance, suppose I am using here tr command. Now tr command basically takes text as an input. So for tr command, these will be taken as a strings, right? Or the line of text. But suppose instead of tr command, I am using the ssh command. In that case, these strings will be taken as the individual commands, okay? Similarly, suppose I am using the python as an interactive program. Then each line, whatever I am providing in the section of code, will be taken as a part of the python program now in the same way we can use it inside our shell script also for that we can write here cat okay and provide here as here document then i'll provide here end and after the end we can provide any strings that we want for instance i am again going to write this is a good day today is sunday and if we want to end this section of code then we can provide here end okay basically our delimiting identifier or limit string so let's save it and if we execute our shell script then the output will be this is a good day and today is sunday basically this section of code is acting as a document or is acting as a file for the cat command now we can replace this cat with the tr command and i can provide here various options like lower okay to upper right basically to convert lowercase words into the uppercase and if I provide already uppercase characters then nothing will happen okay so if we save it and again execute our shell script you will see all the contents are written in the uppercase now within our section of code we can also use the shell variables inside of it and also we can use the command expansions for instance suppose I am defining a variable with the name name and I'm giving it value as shell scripting right now if I want to access this particular variable in our section of code then I can simply write here dollar and then I can provide the name of our variable that is name similarly we can also use here command expansion with the dollar or we can also use the backtick and then we can provide here any command for instance I'm providing here command as date so if we save it and again execute our shell script you will see first our date command is giving us the output and later on it is getting converted into the upper case similarly our dollar name variable is also get substituted by its value that is shell scripting and which is also getting converted into the upper case okay 
Now in this particular case, several characters like dollar or back tick will have the special meaning. If you want to interpret them as a normal character, then you need to escape them with the slash. Okay, here also in this particular case, it will not be used as a special way. Okay, dollar will not have the special meaning here. One more thing, suppose if you don't want to allow your section of code to use the variables or use the command expansions, then you can provide your delimiting identifier within the codes. Okay, in this particular case, our variables and the command substitution will no longer be used. Okay, so if we save it and again execute our shell script, you will see that our command is not expanding and same with the variables. Okay, if you don't want to allow the usage of variables and the expansion of commands, then you can provide the quotes around the delimiting string. Now by default, the tabs that we provide at the starting of each line of our section of quotes are not suppressed. For instance, suppose I'm providing here tab, okay? And here also, in this particular case, you will see that our output is also along with the tab, right? Now, whenever we use the here document, we generally provide the tabs. Why we provide it? Because to make the code much cleaner. But we want to suppress this tab in the output or we don't want to allow the use of tab by our interactive program. Okay. So in that particular case, we can simply provide here dash, right, which will be used for the tab suppression. So if I again execute our shell script, then you will see these tabs are no longer being shown in the output or basically not being used by our interactive program that is TR right now. So dash is used to suppress the leading tabs. Note that spaces will not have any effect on them. For instance, suppose if I'm instead of tab, I'm giving here a space, then it is not going to suppress the spaces also. Okay, it is only for the tab characters and only at the beginning of each line of our section of code. After that, you can also create the multi-line commands using the here document. You can simply provide here double less than symbols, then your delimiting identifier and between this section of code, you can provide any commands you like. Since there is no program at this moment, so all the code inside our section of code will be taken as a comment. Okay, so if we save it, and again execute our shell script then we will see nothing is shown in the output screen because these are acting as a comments now just like the here document we also have the concept of here string basically we only provide the one single line input to a particular interactive program for instance suppose i am using the command as bc right and then i can provide here double less than if i want to provide section of code to this particular program Okay, for that, let me write here and and let write here two asterisk nine, then six plus nine. Okay, and then I'm going to provide here and that is our limit string. Okay, and it will give us the output. Now, suppose I only wanted to give the two asterisk nine to this particular program, then instead of using the here document, we can use the here string. Okay, for that, we can write the name of our program that is BC. And then we need to provide here three less than symbols. Okay. And after that, we can provide whatever the string we want to pass to this particular program. For instance, suppose I want to provide here two asterisk nine, so I can directly provide this particular string. Okay. So if I press enter, it will give us the output. So here a string is basically when you want to provide the single line to a particular interactive program while here document when you want to give number of lines as an input to a particular program okay in here string you don't need to provide the delimiting identifiers right now these concepts are highly used inside the shell scripting for instance it is used with read command or it is used when you want to execute the commands in the remote system for instance with the ssh command or you want to run particular programming language within your shell script Okay, so we will be looking the application of the here document and here strings in some upcoming video, but this is the basics of it, right? So that's all for today guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I have to see you in the next video.